Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we are going to try out this viral TikTok makeup hack to see if it really works or if it's just like a one-time thing that works for this one person because I've never done this before, but I've been seeing this all over TikTok about this girl applying foundation with just her hands and I have been dying to try it. So let's go ahead and get started. I've been seeing it all over TikTok where there's this TikToker, her name is Meredith Duxbury. She puts on her foundation by using her hands. Even Michaela does makeup, like reacted to this and tried doing it as well and said it actually worked very well. And I've been seeing so many people recreate it on TikTok as well. And I'm like, all right, I gotta give this a go because one, I've never done like a TikTok hack or TikTok inspired YouTube video, but two, it's just like a really interesting concept. Like I get maybe it could work because like your hands are warming up the product to really sink it into the skin. But the way she does that, I'm like, oh bitch, like how, how do you, I don't know, I'm about to fight you on this, but like, how do you make this work? It just, it mind boggles me. She uses like, I, I won't have any of her same products, but she uses like, like a serum or like a, a, a clear, primer of sorts and then she puts the foundation a ton of foundation on her hand takes a brush and brushes it like on her face rubs it all in with her hand and then takes more foundation around the face and then she blends it in with the beauty blender and then she sets her entire face like her entire face with a setting powder and apparently it's supposed to make your face look not cakey whatsoever and give you like a glass like finish where your makeup looks flawless. So we're gonna try that out, especially since your girl has really, really large pores. We're gonna see if this makeup hack works for me. I'm not looking forward to uh, rubbing foundation with my hands. I don't think I put foundation with my hands on since I think the last time I did that was, I wanna say I was in high school when they had like that Almay foundation that was like color changing where you rub it in and like it matched, like it's supposed to like match your skin tone, like it, your pH balances. I don't know, it worked, it was really nice. And I don't think they make that anymore, but yeah, I'm really curious to see how this works. Also, today is a date 19 of Vlogmas, so guys, we are almost there. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put my hair back just the way that she does it, because um, I do not wanna get my hair messed up. Not like it really matters, I ain't going nowhere. Okay, I have it like kind of over my ears, because like I really like wanna make sure I'm doing it. I wanna make sure like I'm protecting like my face or my hair. So I don't have the type of like primers that she has, but I really want to recreate this as best possible. So the only thing I do have is I do have this Peach and Lily Glass Skin Refining Serum, and then I also have this Marc Jacobs Primer. Both are probably not gonna be good for my skin, but you know what, we're gonna go ahead and go for it. So first things first, I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of rub this on my face. We'll start off with the serum. Um, you know, I already applied serum to my face. Get this nice and rubbed in. This foundation technique is going viral on TikTok. I'm sure most of you have seen Meredith Duxbury by now on your FYP. She essentially uses an insane amount of foundation and a lot of people have a problem with it, apparently in the comments. <laughs> to each their own. I'm gonna try this technique today. I don't have the same foundations she uses, but I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm a full coverage queen. I use a shit ton of foundation, but not near as <laughs> much as that. I'm gonna use Nas Radiant Longwear and I'm gonna do exactly what she does. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh my god. So she uses a brush and she applies it to the face. I'm doing it exactly as she does it. Okay, here's the kicker, and this is the part where I'm not looking forward to this. I hate touching my face with my hands. She blends it in with her hands. This is not my shade. <laughs> Ugh, I would hate to deal with this every time. I feel like a grease ball. Okay, believe it or not, she adds more foundation. This is a serum foundation. She uses a sponge. I'm gonna conceal contour. There's so much foundation in my hair. Go to pack two. And the next thing she does, she takes her foundation. So I'm gonna take the Maybelline 24 hour um, in the shade 220 natural beige. I'm gonna kind of pump it on my hand. Now she does a lot. That's, that shade's just a little bit too deep. So I'm gonna mix the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte. This is in the shade 103. Oh God, that's just like such a waste of product. And then we're just gonna take this Lexi 660 brush and we're just gonna mix it on the hand. This feels so wrong. Welcome back to where we try in the Meredith Duxbury foundation so technique. I'm laughing because I think I look fucking hilarious. <laughs> like I look like a doll, but like a doll from the Jersey Shore. I don't know, 
I always use a shade of foundation. It never looks this dark. This is really weird. It must be because I used way more. Like I use my classic NAS Radiant Longwear in the same shade I always use and it looks way darker. Okay, so now she sets with powder. She sets the whole face with powder with a big fluffy brush. I'm gonna do a little bit of bacon, just under the eyes. Makeup Forever powder. Real Techniques fluffy brush set in the whole face. Okay, here's the thing, my face looks absolutely flawless. And that does translate in person, like my skin looks insane in person. It's heavy though, it feels so heavy. Let me just finish up the rest of the face. Okay, despite the color issue, I feel like I look legitimately like a plastic doll. Does anyone else feel this way? <laughs> like, I'm not gonna lie, my skin looks perfect. Okay. I'm nervous, is this gonna break me out? How's it gonna last throughout the day? What do you think? Okay, here we go. I don't think I was put that. Uh, I don't think I was supposed to put that in my brow hair. Oh my god, guys! I look like an oompa loompa. <laughs> oh no! This is oh this my I've mixed these two foundations all the time together. They've never oxidized like this. This is oxidizing down to a really bad. Oh good god. I wonder how much foundation this girl goes through because, oh my God, y'all, I look like I <laughs> went tanning and went for like the deepest shade. Oh my God, this is b bad. But like, okay, let me bring the mirror up a little bit closer. Okay, then she takes more foundation and she like drips on the face. So that's what we're gonna do. <gasps> Don't go my eye. Don't go my eye. foundation never comes out of clothes oh no it's on my sweater okay then she just uses a beauty blender and she just blends it all in we're gonna ignore whatever's happening down on my neck there because that is just a freaking moment <laughs> all right now we are going to um conceal the face and then we're just gonna like like set the crap on my face and then we're gonna do the blush, the bronzer, the highlighter. Like we're gonna make this freaking work. Yeah, see, see look what I did to my headband. Okay, so for concealer, we're gonna go into the Benefit Boing Cakeless Concealer. And I'm just gonna do what I normally do. Um, I don't know what is happening on my face, but I do feel like a slight warming sensation, almost as if it's like burning slightly. So there is that. Talk about clogging pores. What? I cannot, I can't. Now the reason why I picked those two foundations is because she uses a full coverage foundation to do this. And I feel like, at least with my uh, Maybelline, that is definitely a full coverage foundation. Um, the mixing it, but it's just a, it's just a shade, 220 uh, shade 220 natural base. It's just like a little bit dark, especially during this time of year. But I like to mix it with other other foundations. It's just the one that's like the shade right above it is too light for me. It's like I gotta like find a balance between the two. Okay. Then we're gonna take the Kimchi Puff Puff Pass Setting Powder and we are going to literally set my entire face with powder because that's what she does. We're gonna take my F1 Fun Bling Blush, bring <laughs> F1 Fun Bling Brushes and we're going to literally set the face. Wait a minute! Wait, wait a minute! How come my face is looking kind of nice? What? Okay, but not my lips. My lips are a crusty butthole. Do y'all see that? Stop! There is no way! No, 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 no. I'm, I'm kind of... Do y'all see that? It kind of, it kind of looks nice. The <laughs> okay, it's deep, it's dark. We're gonna ignore that factor. All right, so we're gonna take my bronzer and we're gonna lightly bronze because I, I really don't think I need that much bronze. We're just gonna whoop, 
just to create a little bit of a shadow. Doesn't need much, because <laughs> I stepped out on the sun a little too long. If you guys hear snoring, uh, Ko is underneath me snoring. <laughs> Obviously, he's found this video to be quite boring. And not too much. Um, okay, then we're going to take my blush and then I will do my brows and my eyes off camera with my lips. <laughs> we're gonna really test this because I swear to God, I am, I am, I'm a little, I'm a little tripped out by this. Okay, so we're going with the, the Moon Prism by Lunar Beauty and just very lightly brush that on. Okay, but like this foundation though is just a little too deep. Okay, so let me go ahead and do the rest of my face off of camera and we'll really see how this looks. Um, I'm surprised so far. I'm, I was skeptical and bitch. If it don't look really nice right now, I, I don't, I probably won't use that much extreme foundation again, <laughs> but, oh damn, <laughs> I'll be back guys. Okay, I just wanna point this out that putting on eyeshadow, it's actually rather difficult and I actually um, did, well, I, I set my eyes with concealer to do like I normally with an eyeshadow look and I was cause like the foundation is just so heavily coated on there, but my eyeshadow is just not, working with me in the slightest at all. And I'm using the Glam Light chocolate donut that I did yesterday in my video and it is just not having it. Like it's not wanting to blend, not wanting to mix, it's just settling down. I wonder just cause I, it's so thick. Oh no, no, oh this is bad. This is not good. Oh. Foundation looks pretty. It's difficult for the eyes. <laughs> All right, guys, and this is the final look. So, what are my thoughts on this? Okay, well, guys, okay, guys, we need to talk. First off, um, the foundation oxidized in a way that it never has before. So this is like two shades too deep. I look way, way too tan, like unnaturally tan. Like I look like the girl that walked outside and they're like, like, look at that. Look at that. Like that is just freaking insane to me. No, 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 no. Um, but I don't hate the technique, which is really strange saying that. So like from here down, it really doesn't look bad, but I have really, really large pores. So no matter what I do, everything like accentuates the pores. Even like my highlighter today really accentuates the pores. Um, my eyeshadow was really, really difficult to put on. Putting on my brows was really difficult because the foundation was just so thick that I just clung onto the skin. It made blending extremely difficult. It made doing my brows extremely difficult. The most I could do was try to clean them and brush them as best I could to just try to make them look somewhat like I have brows. But my face just feels not heavy, but like I could just tell that I'm wearing makeup. It's definitely a very unique way. I feel like if you guys see right here, you guys see the foundation has definitely settled into my fine lines. It has definitely settled into like the crack of my nose. Like, can I zoom you guys in? Okay, so like we can like really talk right here. So you guys see like the foundation has really settled into my nose. You guys see how large my pores look. They look super enhanced. It's starting to settle on the crack right here on my face. I'm trying not to talk so you guys can see. Like, look at that in my forehead. Like, it's just really settling in because it's just so much. My eyeshadow looks like shit. I mean, it just flat out does. It just, like, look, right, even look right here. Do you guys see that? But like right here, it looks nice. Right here, it looks really nice. Anywhere where I don't have large pores, I think it does look super nice. But anywhere that I do have large pores, it just looks like crap. Very much so. <laughs> this is definitely like a technique that is not meant for me in the slightest. It's a it's a really, really cool concept. I, I wanna try it again, but I wanna try it again maybe with a foundation that is a shade too light for me so that potentially it could actually oxidize down to my exact color. But it just, it's it's just a lot. It's a lot, I feel like it's very, uh, very 
pore clogging. I feel like it's very wasteful on your products. Like I feel like I'll, I'll go through like a lot of foundation. Um, yeah, it's just, uh, it's cool. It's not a bad thing. It just doesn't necessarily work for me. Like I, just, like I said, I like how this portion looks really nice. Ever else? No. <laughs> No, it just not didn't work for me. But you know that's okay. That's the whole point of these. I'm like she was able to make it work, and Michaela said that her face looked like flawless skin. But those two girls, I think, have really nice skin to begin with. Like I have very large pores, so anytime I put on any sort of foundation, I never really care for how my skin looks. Like I know you guys think it looks nice on camera, but like I really do have large pores. Like I just showed you guys, like right there. Like you guys can't see those craters. It's just, it is what it is. I can't do anything to hide them. And yes, I use every single thing in the book, every single technique to close my pores, guys. I have tried it all. The amount of unsolicited advice needless to say that fills my dms uh i really appreciate it but like i i have been doing this for a long time not just youtube just trying to close my pores and sometimes it's just a genetic thing same thing with my oil production it's just a really genetic thing and oils and large pores tend to go hand in hand and uh the one benefit about having really oily skin is that it should reduce aging and help reduce wrinkles like that is the positive but it also makes it look like I have large craters on my face. So there is that as well. But um, it's a really cool TikTok technique. You guys should try it. Let me know what you guys think of it. It's super messy. And if you have dry skin, I think this actually might look really nice on you. Or if you guys don't have pores, you guys have beautiful like porcelain doll skin, I think this would be a really nice technique. It's subtle. It looks, like I said, it looks really nice down here. Everywhere else, it's... Not the best. I, I do want to try this again, but I think I'm gonna try it with less foundation. I think I'm just gonna try it where I just do like one or two pumps of both in total or like less. Try it on a brush and then really mix it and then put more foundation. I feel like that that might make a little bit look a little bit better for me personally. But uh yeah, this is my first time trying like a TikTok hack. I want to try it. Meredith makes it look so damn easy and so damn good, and so does freaking Michaela. But those two are pros. I'm not. I'm a makeup enthusiast don't have the skills so works for them don't work for me <laughs> so uh that is it for today's video guys if you guys like this video please make sure you guys give this video a cheeky thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys have not already because i do post every single day here in the month of vlogmas make sure you guys go check out my other channel it's r for life you guys get to see my cool wonderful adventures my amazing fiance Corey. and as always guys i just want to thank you guys for all your love and support i'll see you guys in tomorrow's video Bye. There is no way I'm going out in public like this. Y'all want to see something crazy? Okay, because I've been seeing it all over TikTok. This girl called. Yeah, it's a really cool TikTok. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, look at this, guys. By the way, I never recommend doing this with a paper towel. Oh, bitch. Okay, so I've been seeing it all over TikTok. This girl called Meredith. <laughs> Whoa, you guys see that? Okay, so I've been seeing it all over TikTok for this girl called Meredith. Meredith, so I've been seeing it all over TikTok for this girl, Meredith the Ducks. Are what a difference. Oh my god. But I mean, though, when I take off it, but like, ignore the lips, when I take off it, like, that looks like so nice. It's just an illusion. <laughs>